Hey, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up ActiveDR and configure your storage in a VMware environment in order to protect it by Site Recovery Manager. So the first step is actually to create your ActiveDR pair. So ActiveDR is a pair of pods. A pod is a namespace on the array. One pod on one array and another pod on another array. And all the volumes and snapshots and data inside of that pod gets replicated to the other pod. So I'll create my first pod, give it a name, and then I need to link it to my second pod. This second pod can already exist if you created it over there, or through this wizard you can automatically create a new target pod on the selected array. I'll do that. So I'll give my target pod a similar name, instead of A, just B, and this will create the ActiveDR pod pair, and in, in turning on the replica link. And you can see we have pod A, going to pod B. If we look on our secondary array, we can see indeed that pod A is replicating the direction of pod B. So the next step is to discover that pod pair in Site Recovery Manager. Pod pairs are discovered as arrays in the Array Manager. In the previous video, we set up the Array Manager. So this discovery will see this new pod pair, and you can enable that array pair and this will allow you to discover, or rather SRM, to discover devices inside of that pod pair. There are none now, so let's create some. ActiveDR with Site Recovery Manager allows you to create and manage and protect VMFS data stores and RDMs. So the first step, though, is we need to create connectivity between my cluster to the array. If you've already done this, you can certainly skip this step. You can choose Fiber Channel or iSCSI, and this will create the cluster objects on the array to enable connectivity and the connections of new storage to these particular clusters. I'll do this on my source site and my recovery site. Once these host groups are created, we can now provision storage. In the vSphere plugin version 4.40 and later, we support provisioning into active DR pods. So I'll give my new data store a name and a size choose where I want to provision it to, what cluster, and then I'll choose under the continuous tab my active DR pod pair with some more information around that particular pod pair to give you some context. Snapshot policy if one exists. I can also choose QoS information if I prefer. And then we'll create the data store. This will create the volume in that pod, in the source pod, present it to this cluster, rescan, and format with VMFS. We can see this VMFS data store has been provisioned, and we can see the underlying details under the Summary tab using the vSphere plugin. The next step is to provision virtual machines to this particular data store. SRM protects, protects VMs, not just data stores. So let's put some VMs on top of it. So we'll clone a couple of VMs from template, as an example, and let those complete. And then we'll go ahead and power on these virtual machines so SRM can shut them down and boot them up during disaster recovery workflows. You can protect multiple data stores, multiple RDMs in a single pod if you so choose. In this case, we'll just do one as an example. The VMs are booting up. So the next step is to discover this replicated volume. So I'll kick off a device discovery from my pod pair, aka my array pair inside of the array manager. My new volume is discovered. This will allow me to add it into a site recovery manager protection group. I'll go ahead and create a new one and give it a name. And then I will choose the type of the protection groups. For VMFS and RDMs, it is supported to either data store groups or storage policies. I'll choose data store groups, and this will show all the volumes in my pod. All volumes in the same pod must be failed over together. So if you have more than one, they'll be included there and forced to be in the same protection group. I'll also create a recovery plan, and this protection group will be added to that particular recovery plan. We are now able to run test recoveries and recoveries of my active DR recovery plan in SRM. Thanks for watching.